I don't know about you, but I'm finding recently that I'm starting to play a lot more older games than I am newer stuff that's coming out. Newer games aren't really like holding my attention at the moment. And uh, so that's led me to going back to like playing the original Xbox and the original PlayStation and things like that. So I thought I'd do a video on games that I've been picking up. Regular viewers to the channel will might possibly have noticed that in the background I've had like stacks of Xbox 360 games appearing and like I've put a few things in the cabinet. Yeah, so I thought what I'd do is I'd make a little video on what I've been picking up and just, just, show, just show what I've been buying. I don't know if this is going to be any good or not, whether it's worth watching. I don't know. That's up to you to decide, isn't it? Yeah, so let's crack on with this. So first up, I've been buying some PS1 games. A few of them haven't su survived like the... Uh, the postal the postal service here and as you can see that that top top right corner of uh colin mccray is cracked but yeah I, I used to love this game back in the day back in the day this game was the shit everyone was playing this everyone was talking about it it's really good it's still worth playing now this one even though the box is damaged which is annoying because i'm gonna have to try and find an original box because these original boxes have like holograms on them you can get replacement boxes, but they don't have the hologram. This also has the 95% winner sticker. That's actually a sticker on the case, which I'm going to have to try and find another one of these if I want a perfect case. Um, so, yeah. Inside this has all the uh, all the extra booklets and stuff. It's good. It's in really good condition. Apart from the box, which is quite annoying. The manual. Manual's in perfect condition. Literally looks like it's brand new. Yeah, great. This one, I'll show this in a second. Disc, let's have a look at the disc. Disc, PlayStation discs are black, if you didn't know. So that's, uh, looks like it's in decent condition to me. Looking at it, that looks pretty much perfect. You can't really see. There's, there's no there's no scratches on it or anything. It's like pretty mint condition disc, this. The only thing that's bad is the box it hasn't survived the postal service. But this has... The original poster in it as well. This has never been stuck on a wall or anything. It's literally a brand spanking new poster for Colin McRae. It's like, it's never been stuck on a wall. It's never been nothing. It's got no, like old bits of blue tack or anything on the back. It's literally pristine. I might stick that, I might stick that in a frame. I might stick that in a frame. But yeah, this game was the dog's bollocks when it came out. So that's Colin McRae. It means a lot to me as well. I used, to play that. I used to play this a lot. I'm not after buying these things to get a whole set of PlayStation games or whatever. I just buy ones that, may, that mean something to me. This one also means something to me as well. Took two. So I don't think this is very popular in America. This did come out in America. These games were rock solid. These are really hard games. Made by Codemasters. Same people that made Colin McRae. Um, this box, unfortunately, has not survived the uh, postal service again. There's a big crack there. You can see it there. That all like flip forward and backwards. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not great. And also the inside bit, what holds a disc on, is all snapped. Again, unfortunate. But I can probably find replacement boxes. Again, disc. It's got a couple of fingerprints on it, but it's pretty much spot on. I can't really see. Can you? The black discs. But yeah. There we go. You can see my lights. That's probably better. It's got fingerprints and stuff on it, but it's no scratches. No scratches. And it just has the manual. Quite a lot of these, uh, again, perfect manual. Perfect manual. No issues with that. But yeah, this came out, game came out in America. It, I think it had a slightly different name, but it's the same game. But Toka 2 had an American um, commentator on it for the American version and British for the British one. And the next one is World to Touring Cards, which is Toka 3. This was not called this name in america in america it's just called something like jarrett and labonte stock car racing or something which i think there were two nascar drivers but this hasn't got nascars in it as far as i remember but if you know what grid is if you heard of grid or race driver or in america i think it was called pro race driver it's called toka race driver over here like xbox and ps2 this is the precursor to that so this game is responsible for those games and the way they went going onwards from, from from this from this point in time these are this is basically grid zero again this hasn't survived very well but these cases they're like what is this like 30 odd years old maybe so 
again, we get like perfect condition, like little extra booklets and stuff. Micro machines, micro machines are mint. That was a mint game. And again, manual, perfect condition. Literally looks up brand new, brand new. And the inside of this box is all right. It's just, it's just the hinge that's broke. Quite a few scratches on this disc, but you can see in there in the in the light, quite a few scratches, but not a problem, not a problem. We're not after mint condition, not after mint condition. I paid about four pound for that. So yeah, and this game, this game, we used to love this game. G Police, G Police, this is great. This is a double disc game, two discs, massive, massive um, manual, big thick manual this. Again, another Codemasters game. Is it Codemasters? No, it's Cygnosis, this, wasn't it? Cygnosis. They're the people that made Wipeout and stuff like that. So they made, this was like a shooting game. How do I explain this? This was like, you basically flew like a little like space helicopter thing in domes on different, I think it was like Jupiter or something, different planets. You can't fly on Jupiter, that's a gas, gas giant. But um, yeah, it was like space colonies. I'm talking bollocks. Um, See if I can find a screenshot in this box, in this book. You basically played in the in the cockpit and you went around doing missions. Sounds great. I'll put some, maybe put some footage up on, on, on the screen if I can find it. I can't find any there's no screenshots in this in this thing. There's no screenshots. It does however have a response thing that hasn't been filled out. I don't know what that is, like a survey. Survey, influence the future. Influence the future, that says in there. How can we see that? Let's see it, can you? Influence the future. Fill in this card and send it free post to us every time you buy a Signatus game and you can then influence the development of our new games. Wow. Yeah, that's not been filled out. There's no screenshots in this game, in this manual. Again, this game was the dog's bollocks. It was really hard as well. It's really hard. So I bought this about three weeks ago. I love this game. It's one of the best games I've ever played. Road Rush 2. Again, hasn't survived the delivery process because the manual clips have snapped off. So inside, you can see on the left there, the clips that would hold the manual in those two white squares, uh, they're, they're snapped off. The cat's in good condition. Again, comes with all the extra stuff, like what's going on from Mega Drive in 92, 93. That's James Pond. What have we got? NHLPA hockey. NHLPA hockey. You should love that game. You should love that game. John Madden 93. PJ Tour Golf 2 and Team USA Basketball. I don't know what that game is there. I don't know what PJ Tour Golf is, obviously, but I don't know what Team USA Basketball is. Again, this is in mint condition. LHX Attack Chopper and De Desert Strike. Desert Strike's mint. I've got Desert Strike in the um, cabinet behind me. That's like one of the best games ever made. James Pond. Yeah, this is in really good condition. Really good condition. Has the, uh, the normal manual. It's on all the different languages. All in black and white in uh, the UK. I don't know what American manuals are like for the Genesis, but these are all in black and white for the UK. But the one good thing is it's got this, <laughs> which is your reg reg registration for this game. Never been filled out. Brilliant. How many hours a week do you usually play your video games? Mine's 20 plus. 20 plus. Is that a bad thing? I don't know. So yeah, unfortunately, this has got the clip snapped off, but... Yeah, this game meant a lot to me. I used to play this. Oh, it's the first game I ever remember buying with my own money. Like, I went, I saved up for this, and I went to Virgin Megastore in Oxford, and I said, can I demo this game, please? And I remember the guy behind the till going, God sake, this kid wants to demo this game, but he's never going to play. He's never going to buy it. I played it for a bit. I went, yeah, I'll have that, please. I'll buy that. And I felt like the dog's bollocks uh, getting my, my 40 pounds out and going, there you go, there you go, sir. There you go, sir. There's your money. And off I went. All right, next one is my favorite console of all time. You can see it up there, Dreamcast, um, Sega Radio 2. Now, these cases, UK cases, are a lot different to the American ones, I think, and the Japanese ones. These are shit. These are shit. These are really flimsy, and they're like weird little clamshell things. You've got to flick up without breaking, and they've got a clamshell on the bottom as well. That's where the manual sits in the bottom. The game sits in the top, look. There we go. You can see that just there. Um, yeah, I've been after this game for quite a while. Sega Rally Championship. Manual, again, mint condition. Brilliant. Also comes with uh, this little uh, brochure thing. It's one of the advert, TV adverts of the Dreamcast in the UK. Was They were quite mad, Sega adverts. 
Got Sonic Adventure. What's that? Red Dog? The hell's Red Dog? I've never heard of Red Dog before. Red Dog, Sonic Adventure. Sonic Adventure's great. Sega Rally 2 advert in a Sega Rally game. And Soul Calibur. Yeah, yeah. Soul Calibur. I remember playing Soul Calibur with a mate of mine. He used to always cheese the same attacks. Uh, oh, and Toy Commander in the background. In the back, on the back of it. So that's the extra little thing in the manual. Let's have a look at the disc. Oh, God, these boxes are so... Like, these break really easily. I want to say the, uh, the US and the Japanese ones, they're just normal. This disc looks... Mint. I don't think there's any scratches on that at all. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Let's take a rally two. I want to say the U UK one is the only one that's got the Ford Escort in it as well, I think. In the arcade machine. Pretty sure the US version does not have the Ford Escort puzzle in it. Also, I picked up a sealed copy of Metropolis Street Racer. Still sealed. It's original sealing. Um, this is, if you don't know what this is, MSR is the precursor to Project Gotham Racing. Project Gotham Racing wouldn't exist without this game. So Bizarre Creations made this. The people that made Project Gotham made MSR as well. The reason it wasn't called MSR on the Xbox is because Sega owned the license to the name Metropolis Street Racer, which I think is a much better name. I already have the, this, this game loose. I uh, just got a loose disc of this. But this is... Yeah, I played the shit out of this game. I'm obviously not going to unseal it because it's sealed. I bought it sealed for a reason. Yeah. Next, we have something a bit more recent, but really hard to find. And that's Super Mario 3D All-Stars for the Switch. Now, you're probably asking me, why are you buying a Switch game? That's not old. This game is rare as rockin' or shit. They made this game for a year and then took it off sale everywhere. But if you can find one of these, if you see one of these anywhere... No matter what region it's from, it could be PAL, UK, it could be Australian, whatever. They go they go for like hundreds of pounds normally on eBay, if you can find them. Um, yeah, you can't even buy these digitally. That's it. Switch games are rubbish. The box is so big for that tiny little cart. But yeah, I bought that from CEX. CEX is like a second-hand store in the UK for 60 quid. 60 pound. That's the cheapest I could find it anywhere. 60 pound for a pre-owned copy of this game because they do not make it anymore they made it for a year and then they took it off sale it's just basically remastered versions of mario 64 mario sunshine and mario galaxy but the box is a bit damaged but i can pull out that and have a uh, switch it for a better better case okay, it's, just an, it's just an internal sleeve that comes out sleeve is fine sleeve is fine just the box itself is a bit damaged but um yeah so i bought that so if you see that for anywhere it's cheap like in a car boot sale or what is that a yard sale in America? That kind of thing. And it's cheap. Buy it. Buy it. Because it's, it's worth a lot of money. It's worth a lot of money. Now, on to the next one. This is a big box PC game. Syndicate Wars. This is the sequel to Syndicate from 1993. So this is what? 995, I think this has come out? 96. This game is immense. Yeah, it's brilliant. I love these big box games. I've, you can see Baldur's Gate up there. Baldur's Gate 2. I love Baldur's Gate 2. I love Syndicate Wars. Syndicate, the original Syndicate is one of my favourite games of all time. Syndicate was not my favourite game of all time, but it's up there. This is on CD, so it's a CD case, but it's a DOS game. So to run it on a modern PC, you need to... Uh, that's pretty much spot on as well. As you can see, a space screen in there. Uh, that's on my monitor at the moment. Yeah, um, that's pretty much spot on. A couple of, scra couple of tiny scratches, a couple of marks, but apart from that, it's got a few fingerprints on it. Apart from that... Pretty much spot on. Um, yeah, again. It's Bullfrog. They don't exist no more. That's Peter Molyneux's story, uh, studio. We've got, what have we got in here? We've got manual. Dropping things off my desk. Oh my god, the disc is going to fall. Um, manual. Yeah. Again. Pretty much perfect condition. Great artwork there of a dude with a minigun. Uh, minigun. Yeah. It was a... Uh, Strategy game, point and click strategy game. You don't know what it is. Um, brilliant, brilliant game, brilliant, game. brilliant game. And this is brilliant content, isn't it? Let's face it. What else have we got in here? We've got it looks like an, an FAQ, like a troubleshooting guide. I think it was. There we go. And an installation and troubleshooting guide there as well. Again, these are all in perfect condition. 
This box is in really good condition. I've been after this for a while, trying to find these in decent condition when they don't cost a fortune. Because everyone seems to think old stuff now, even if it's not worth anything, everyone seems to think it's worth a goddamn fortune and they need to sell it for like 300 quid. So no, about a tenner. I paid £12 for that. Um, next one is one I used to own at the time when I bought it is Dead Rising Steelbook. Now, trying to find these in decent condition now is damn near impossible. I don't know if this is a UK exclusive. That's not a, that's a BBFC logo there. That's not a sticker. That's literally part of the case. So I don't know if that's a UK exclusive. I do know, however, that when I bought this originally, because I bought this originally and then sold it, and I always regretted it, is that I had the faceplate. Dead Rising's 360 faceplate. Now, I'm pretty sure that's a UK exclusive. You had to, the only way you could get this was by pre-ordering the game. I think you had to pre-order the Steelbook version to get this faceplate. So if you find them on eBay or something, they're rare. So maybe get them. Um, Dead Rising Classics. I don't think that's the actual... That's not the original disc, is it? That's got Classics written on it. That's not the original disc. Is that not the disc from... Like when they sell a million copies or something and they re reissue them. That's the wrong disc, I think. I think that's the wrong disc. That's maybe mad. Maybe mad. <laughs> I do have... It does have the manual. It looks in decent condition. Um, Yeah, it's got the manual. It's got the map. The William at Mall map thing. St uh, preview store guide thing. Now, what I'm going to do in a second is I'm going to show you something else. I've got another copy of this. I bought another one. <laughs> this isn't the same one. This is a different one. Um, so this is the first one I bought, but this one got damaged to shit in transit. As you can see, it's all dented at the top. Where is it? There. On the left. On the right-hand side of your screen, where the hands is, next to my eyes, here. All dented. Dented to shit. And also, because these are metal, or like fake metal, they all get, they get rusty. Because if people haven't looked after them properly, they get damaged and they get rusty. Now, ah, this has got the original disc in it. So this is what I was going to do. So I was going to try and put together one decent one. So I found a decent case, which is practically perfect. It's got a little bit of damage there. But yeah, that hasn't got the original disc look. Classics. This one does have the original disc because it isn't classics. So that just says Xbox. So that's the original disc. That's the classics version. So what I'm going to do is... I've just managed to press something on my computer. Now I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. So I'm going to swap that disc over for this one. I'm going to make one decent one, basically. So that, apart from covering in fingerprints, that's pretty much spot on. This classics disc is pretty damaged. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's got a few scratches on it. It's not that bad. But it's not the right disc. This is the right disc. Oh, it's also got nice uh, artwork inside. Rrr, zombies, rah. So one dimensional, aren't they, Dave? Dave, you're watching this and, and Badger. Oh, one dimensional enemies. Oh, oh. So which has got the better manual and which has got the better map? I want to say this one's a better manual. So that's going to go in the best box. And then again, we've got two store guards. Two, 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 there, can't speak. Two store guides. They pretty much look identical. Well, neither of them are damaged. However, the one, ironically, the one from the damaged box has the better disc and manual and inserts. So, as that's damaged, I'll just probably take that to CEX and get a pound in trading for it. But yeah, that disc, that's now, I've now got a decent copy of this now. And I've got a decent copy to sit in my, in my uh, cabinet next to my faceplate. Next to my faceplate, they can sit next to each other and, uh, yeah. I always regretted selling that. Always regretted selling that. I, traded, I used to trade in my stuff, like everyone does. Trade in their things to buy new things. And I always regretted it. That's why I stopped selling systems. I stopped selling games. I just started collecting things now. But I haven't got the, I haven't got the room to, stuff, to store everything. But yeah, that's what it is. Now, I have a big stack of 360 stuff. Xbox 360. So let's have a look at what I've been buying. This first stack, I've had a quick look at. 
The second stack, I've literally taken out the box and stuck it on the floor and I've not looked at it. So I don't know what condition it's in or anything. So first one, full auto. Pre-owned at Games Master 499. I don't know what Games Master is. This unfortunately has no manual. But full auto is not back compact. Disc isn't too bad. A bit scratched. Not horrendous. Yeah, this game is not backwards compatible. This is I wanna say this was more or less a launch game for the three for the three sixty. But it's like a car combat game. So I'm buying some of these things because I've always wanted to play them, or I thought I'd might may as well just do a video on them, whether I'm doing a long play or just a quick look at them, whatever. Um yeah, so that's full auto. Next one, Burnout Revenge. Everyone likes Burnout. Burnout's great. Forgiveness is for losers. Um this does have the manual and the original disc, which is good. It's what we like. What's the disc look like? Not too bad. Not too bad. Fingerprints, few scratches, should work. I want to say that is backwards compatible with the uh, like Series X and stuff. Full auto is not. Some of these are back compact, some of them aren't. I'll try and tell you which is which. I don't really know. Next one up Test Drive Unlimited. I already have Test Drive 2. Had this back in the day, but got rid of it. Um, oh, bits of plastic falling out of this one. I want to open it. So this hasn't survived. That's the bit of the uh, bit that holds the disc in. Look. Oh dear. That is smashed up, man. Look at that. Look at that. That's not survived. Whoa, that's barely even holding that disc in. This looks perfect. Not a single mark on that disc. Off my few fingerprints. But yeah, this has got the big ass map. Of Hawaii, Oahu. Um, got the manuals. And it's got the registration card, I think. Yeah. Registration card as well, not filled in. Um, this game, you can't play online anymore. However, you can still play it single player. Unlike The Crew, which is made by Ubisoft, but this is the same... Got like bits of plastic here, look. I've got like three of these. That's what was holding the that was what was holding the disc in. You can't see it. Focus. There. Um, yeah. What was I saying? Okay, so the people that made this went on to form a team with reflections and make the crew. And the crew two and the crew motor first. Um unlike the crew, which is getting shut down at the end of this month, like less than two weeks, like ten days. Ten days from now, me recording this, the crew will no longer exist. We'll not be able to play it. You can play this and you can play the sequel. If you still have the disc. Pretty sure that's not backwards compatible either. Next up, we've got Juice 2. I don't think this game's very good, but... So what? Got the manual. Got the disc. Disc is not flying around like that other one. Let's have a look at the condition. That's pretty much perfect. Pretty much perfect. Pretty much perfect. Yeah. So I've never played this, so I'm looking forward to having a go on that. I like my racing games. I don't know if that's backwards compatible or not. Guess I'll find out. Next up, an awesome game, Chronicles of Riddick. Assault on Dark Athena. So this is the sequel to the Xbox original. Is it Butcher Bay? Escape from Butcher Bay. Got the manual. Got the disc. Looks in good condition. Have a look at the disc. It looks like it's been wiped or something, and then it's not dried properly. Look. Yeah, um, might have to get a wipe on that. Put some uh, isopropyl alcohol on it. Again, I don't think, I don't think that's backwards compatible either. So, good job I still have a 360 then, isn't it? Next up, I've got Dead Rising 2. I think I own this digitally. Um, this came from CEX. I'm not happy with it. I've already looked at this because it's not the original disc. It's the classic disc again. I don't understand why people do this. Again, it's got scratches and wipes on it and stuff, but. That should be all right. Again, I own this on disc. Any, I own this digitally anyway. So, but yeah, Dead Rising Two, really good game. Again, I don't think these are backwards compatible with Xbox One and Xbox Series game uh, consoles. But I own it digitally anyway. And I own the remastered version that came out on like, the current consoles and stuff. Um, next up is this absolute dog shit game. But I want to know what it's like. <laughs> It's Walking Dead Survival Instinct, yeah! Based on the Fox hit series. Again, no manual. Why 
What do people? Why do people? I find this quite a lot with second games. They have got no manuals. What do people do with the manuals? Do they just take them out and throw them away? This is. It's got one scratch in it, and it. I've obviously wiped it, and it hasn't dried properly. Um. This game is going up in price. I don't know why, but this game is about between eight and fifteen quid. Eight and fifteen pound. It's it's not supposed to be very good, but I want to see what it's like. So I bought it. Next up, we have Battlefield Three Limited Edition. I wanted to buy all the Battlefield games that have a single player in them, so I can go through the single player. Because I've never the only Battlefield single player game I've played is Battlefield Four. So yeah. Now that has probably already been used that code, but if it hasn't, I ain't putting it on this video. So I've got me a let me stuff. I've got Medal of Honor, and on the back of this has got a code on it, which I'm not going to show, because I'm going to see if that works. It's probably been it's probably been uh, redeemed, but who knows? Oh, there's no actual manual in this. It's just got Mass Effect stuff, and yeah, there's no actual manual. The manual is not in here. All the other stuff is in here. The manual is not in there. Uh, two discs. That's. I would have thought that would have been smashed to bits. But yeah. It's not. Disc is practically perfect. Couple of scratches. What's this disc? Disc 2, single player campaign. Pretty much spot on. Couple of marks. Not too bad. Yeah. I don't know if this is backwards or compat. I think it is. It's also part of like, yeah, if you could subscribe to like. Game Pass Ultimate, it's on EA Access. So, yeah. These are stuck together. That's not a good sign. Um, and then I've got this one. Battlefield 2, Modern Combat. Now, I want to say this is just, that's got the manual, but that's obviously had something stuck to it. This is a CEX special, I think. I like to stick stickers to things, which is really bloody annoying. This is full of fingerprints. Um, and a few marks. But apart from that, it hasn't got too many scratches on it. So it should work all right. Again, I don't know if that's backwards compatible or not. But I've got a 360, so it doesn't really matter. And these are stuck together because they've got residue from, like, stickers. CEX stickers. You can see it on the top. See that circle? Faint circle there. This is all sticky because it's had a sticker on it. I've never played Bad, Bad Company. Never played these games. That's why I bought them. I thought I could just burn through these and do some videos on them. Um, manual, it's got a Mercenaries 2 flyer in it. Looks in pretty good condition. Mercenaries 2, I was really disappointed with. Mercenaries 1 was really good. Second one, not so much. Disc isn't perfect, but it's not horrendous. So, yeah, I'll do a video on that. Let's clean that box because it's sticky as out. Excuse me. I've got Battlefield Bad Company 2 Limited Edition. Again, sticky. That's why they're sticking together. Oh, important, your VIP code. Well, let's not show that, just in case. Just in case it's not been redeemed. I bet it has. Manual. Got stickers on it. I don't understand why they stick so many stickers on things. Disc isn't perfect, but again, not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Right, that's the stack I've already had a look at. This stack, I thought this is the bundle of someone on Vinted who was selling 12 games for like £15. So this wasn't part of that bundle, but I bought this. Again, it's supposed to be absolutely terrible and chock full of swearing. That's probably the reason why I bought it, but it's in mint condition. So I thought I would buy it and have a go. That's literally perfect. There's not a mark on that disc. Apart from the fingerprint smudge, there's no scratches on that disc. That is perfect. Cost me £3. So, for three quid, I thought I'll give that a go. Right, these these ones, the next ones here, are either games I've already got, or games I just... I, I bought it because it was, it was 15 quid for 12 games. So, yeah. The video on the picture, they were stacked on top of each other. And now I know why. <laughs> So first off, we've got Operation Flashpoint, Red River. I've never played this. I used to love the original Flashpoint on the PC and on the original Xbox. I've played Dragon Rising. I've never played Red River. So that was primarily one reason why I bought this, because this game goes for about 8 to, eight to £15. Pound. 
on its own. It's got some really weird little marks on this. I don't know what those little marks are. They're not scratches. They're not smudges. I don't know what that is. Hopefully that will work. Don't think this is backwards compatible. Manual. That's in, it's in pretty good condition, that. Off those weird marks. Yeah. That's the main reason I bought this bundle was because that's in it. And that goes for about eight quid on its own. Now, next up, we have the CX Specials. This would have cost four pound. Recycling, trade in, and save. I'll get cash. Modern Warfare 2. I have a bit of a love hate relationship with Call of Duty. So I never. I used to play these games only in single player. And I would instantly put them on veteran difficulty. Oh my god, this disc is a mess. Um, look at the state of that. That is scratched to shit. Got loads of little micro scratches on it. Um, yeah, I used to play them on veteran. So I played through two on veteran, played through three on veteran. I twisted a controller. I got so mad with with three. I played it on veteran. I twisted an Xbox 360 controller so much that the battery pack popped out. Um, and then Modern Warfare 1, but not Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 1, I got to the Pripyat mission where you need to extract from like, the Ferris wheel in Pripyat, and I got so pissed off of it because the enemies knew, psychically knew where you were on Veteran, and that was it. I said, I'm never going to play a Call of Duty game again. And I haven't. <laughs> Until then, I've, not, I've never played another Call of Duty game since Modern Warfare 1 on the next Watch 360. So it's also came with GTA 5. Uh yeah, I already own this. Everyone knows what GTA 5 is. This is in pretty good condition though. So I'll probably just trade that in. Yeah, this is pretty much perfect. Got a few little weird marks. Um we should probably rub off. Got the manual. Got the manual, it's got the map. Map. Map is here. Looks a pretty good nick. Um won't be as good as mine because I have mine. New, what is this? Buy the atomic blimp, blimp, game add-on. I don't remember that being in the game originally. I don't remember having that in my copy. I might have to check that later. Um, yeah. So there's that. I've got payday two. Never played payday game. I don't even know. Will that still work? Does that have a single player campaign? I don't know. Disc is pretty much perfect. Pretty much perfect. I don't. Know. Does it have a single player campaign? One player. Oh, two to four. I don't know. I don't know if that has single if that has a single player campaign on it or not. I don't know. I never played it before. I'll give it a go. Next up we've got Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Day Zero Edition. Um I don't know what Day Zero Edition is. It's got no manual again, annoyingly. It really pisses me off. Uh oh, it's two discs. Bit scratched. Not horrendous. Not that bad. Seem worse. So that's an install disc and a game disc. I never played Advanced Warfare. Didn't Advanced Warfare wasn't that Xbox One? Advanced Warfare. So that'll be the last gen version of of that. I'll have a go on that. Um next up we've got Eat Lead, the Legend, The Return of Matt Hazard. This game is ridiculous. Still got the seal thing on it. It's, it's I don't understand why people leave these things on. Just take them off. I've played this before in the past. This game is weird. But it's also quite funny. Um, that disc is perfect. There's not a mark on that disc. Not a mark on that disc, really. Got the manual. I wanted to buy this because I wanted to do a video on it. So I've got the original on the original Xbox as well. So, yeah. That game is weird. Also good. And we've got... Episodes from Liberty City, which is the DLC for GTA 5 on disc. Um, this goes for about 8 quid in its own. Again, another reason why I bought this. Uh, that disc, not perfect. I bought this on disc because the download version started removing songs and stuff like that from the game. Comes with the map and the manual. Looks in pretty good condition. I already have this on disc. I will check what condition these are in and then make up a decent one and get rid of the other one. Pause the Motorsport 3. I already own this. Um, the discs are in pretty good condition. Yeah, discs are in pretty good condition. It's Forza 3. It's Forza Motorsport 3. I tend to think that the Forza Motorsport games on the 360 are better than the ones on the current Xbox. Uh, I've got Black Ops. What is that? 
zombified, free map pack and died. Is that a, is that a classic? It's a classics version, isn't it? Is that a, a re-release? Got a disc on it that isn't doesn't say classics on it. It's in pretty good nick. Um, got a game added on for that. Got code on back. It's probably been redeemed. Um, I've never played Black Ops. It's got the manual. It's got the inserts. Yeah, I'll burn through the single player on that and probably record it. Next up, Call of Duty Ghosts. Again, another CEX special because it's covered in stickers. Looks a bit of a mess. Um, no manual. No manual again. No manual. Why, why do people throw away the manuals? Why do people... That is... I think that's more dirty than... Scratched. That's howling. That's howling. I'm going to have to wash my hands after this. Yeah, that's more... They're more dirty than scratched, these ones. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Again, no manual. I don't understand why there's no manual in these games. Um, or is that another... It's another copy of Advanced Warfare. It's the same game. Another copy. Why would the same person own two copies of the same game? Um... Yeah. Oh, surprise, surprise. No fucking manual. Um, this is a bit scratched. Not horrendous. This person sold me two copies of the same game. Two copies of the same game. Both from CX. One cost six quid. One cost three quid. Why? It's the same game. Is that just the game that came out, like, the day it came out, type of thing? Who knows? It's just Call of Duty. They're shit. Um, right. That's it. That's all I've got. That's all I've got for now. There's my game pickups. I might do another one of these later when I've picked up some more games. But for now, that's all I've got. I'm going to play some of these games. I'm going to do some videos on them. Yeah, so keep an eye out on the channel if you're interested in that kind of thing. I don't know if this video is even worth doing. Is anyone even going to watch this? I don't know. If you like the video, there's a button for you to press specifically for that purpose. And if you're not subscribed, subscribing would be badass. And if you already are subscribed, thanks a lot. What do you think of this video? Should I do more of these things? I don't know. Up here, you can see some more videos. Um, probably me playing Final Fantasy or unboxing PS5s. That kind of thing. I don't know. I can manually set these things to be a specific video or just leave it up to YouTube. I'll probably just leave it up to YouTube. I'm waffling. Uh... That's it for now. I'm really warm in this room. I'm going to go now. Uh, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.